Um, okay, so what do you want to do next? Um. Hmm. I guess five. Um, okay. Jake, murdered, you say? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Now I remember. Well, I'm sure the facts will prove me innocent. Keep investigating. You'll see for yourselves in time. What a defense, guy. What a defense. Yeah. Superb. Um, I'm curious about two. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, t sir. T t tell me again about the issues here in Sicil. Sicil. Oh, you mean Sicil? Very difficult times indeed. As though the death of Jake and by source magic no less weren't enough. We're also facing all sorts of brutish intruders. The undead have overrun all but one northern trade route, while the orcs are making a habit of savaging our beaches. Savaging our beaches. Savaging our beaches. That's not to mention that at the top of this whole caboodle, there's rumors of some new religious sect or cult or some such, sticking its tendrils into the innocent, seven-fearing folks of Sycil. Hmm. Interesting. And, uh, <clears throat> while we're on the subject of troubles, I myself have a private matter I'd like to bring to your attention. It involves a magic relic I rather foolishly sought. A weapon called the Staff of Pergamon. Oh, boy. Ooh, go on. The what of what now? <laughs> oh, you're speaking gibberish. What? <laughs> Gosh darn it. He's blind and hard of hearing. Yeah. Ah, you mean the star I, I don't Pergamon. think he's guilty of the murder. <laughs> <laughs> Not unless it was all accidental. The cargo was yeah, either that or he just orchestrated it. Rare staff. I managed to place the order through mean somewhat, atypical to a government official. Um, okay. Cecil proved an old fool, though. For the merchant slated to deliver it to me has just informed me that the damn thing has gone missing. I fear it may have fallen into the wrong hands, and I wonder if you could retrieve it for me. Hmm. I'm kind of game for that. I'm I'm in. Money, experience, adventure. I'm I'm up for it. His I'm in. Name is Conrad, of course it is. Tidespitter, a merchant ship still docked at the Sicil Harbor. You can talk to him if you think it'd help, but I'd quite like to avoid getting the Legion involved if you don't mind. All right. The staff itself contains a shard of an ore, highly valued for its use in the weapons of war. I know use of the material to be forbidden, but I was desperate to do something to aid the townsfolk against the undead. Oh boy. Gotcha. How taboo. Um. Uh. I... Chew, I guess. What? The undead? Yes, for the past two years, those blasted skeletons have all but suffocated this city. With all but one trade route overrun, Sicil's once torrential commerce has slowed to a pathetic trickle. Okay, so just complaints, gotcha. Um, can you, d does he know anything about Jake's murder? Jake murdered? Oh yes, yes, now I recall. Indeed, I could hardly believe it myself. The Council and I have certainly had our differences over the years, but Old squabbles evaporate under such circumstances. Most of the townsfolk are certain Jake's wife Esmeralda is responsible. In fact, the Legion have taken her into protective custody to keep her safe from the mob. Yeah, I'm kind of convinced of that myself. As you can imagine, I've known Esmeralda for years. That business between her and the Duke of Ferrell was always a bit um, suggestive. Oh. But I've never had cause to suspect her of violence. Still, one never knows for sure. I can ask him about the Duke of Ferrell. Hmm. An all right bloke, apart from all this Esmeralda nonsense. The whole town knows the only goal of his business trips to Sicil is to spend a night or two at the King Crab Inn with Mrs. Counselor. Gotcha. You want to hear more about Rivalon's sex or se sects with a CT, not an X? Uh. 
<laughs> Sounds good. Okay. I just, I just thought I'd clarify. I mean, I'm not trying to get this uh, all hot and bothered and dirty in here. Um, Getting steamy. I'm, I'm just going to... I mean, the bathhouse is just around the corner, you know. I'm just going to click this. Well, I... Okay. I do believe that's something your parents ought to have discussed with you long ago, Source Hunter. But I suppose if... If you don't know, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least <laughs> Oh, gosh. This guy, huh? Uh -huh. Ah, you see, when a lady and a fellow find each other rather nice, well... Rather more, more than nice. nice. <laughs> they occasionally, <clears throat> well, they. <sighs> oh, this is nonsense. I'm the mayor for the seventh sake. I can't be bothered to chat all day about the birds and the bees when Sicil's on the siege by <laughs> orcs, undead, and cultists. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to tell us about the various factions then? Um, I, I guess not. I was a little curious myself, but, you know. Mm. Something tells me his parents never told him about it. What do you got to trade? I can take his boots. <laughs> All right. I knew that dark dealing old man. The gallows? Well, I've heard of That's not people, English. I've never seen one myself. I don't think I care to either. No, it what? certainly isn't. What is this? Who are you to interrupt my musings? By Naga, the protector, they have the manners of boors, these boatmen of Sicil. Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken. For you hardly resemble the local fisher folk, which, incidentally, is a compliment of copious dimensions indeed. No, a source hunter, that is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms pernicious. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of man. But it may just be to our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Hmm. Okay, so I think we finish investigating the murder, uh -huh. do Modora's quest, and then not be allied with her anymore and come back and get this guy. Why shouldn't we be allied with her anymore? Because he has magic. Oh. At least I assume so from that staff. Right. I would tell you my reasons. But it seems rather pointless to do. Do you think so maybe we can have five people in a party? There is no room left no. in your band of adventurers for an additional champion. Ah, uh, okay. A pity, really. You get four. Okay. Red, ooh, red scroll, ninety-two gold. I'll buy that. Um. Shadows hide your loyal servant. Is this book here? A volume of poetry among novels. Striking it rich. Mayhem. Sigurd's beard, what a find. <laughs> Finding all sorts of goodies, aren't you? Maybe. Princess Buttercup with the blushing Um, so what do you want to learn about today, my friend? I've got the Adventurer's Field Guide, Rat Extermination, uh, the Adventurer's Field Guide 4, uh, Fun with Fluids 4, Fun with Fluids 2. Cracking up a crowd, the definitive guide. Is there no new book to be discovered in this library? Hmm. I don't know. Let's just pick one. All right. Well, let's start with fun with fluids. Fun with fluids. If you've ever tried consuming a, oh, I thought that said a guinea pig. It's a guapina, guapinha mushroom. Uh, you know full well what manner of effect it will have. Most Rivalonian mushrooms have some sort of effect on the human body, and their essence can be squeezed into po uh, potions to enhance their effects. 
Combining mushroom-based potions has similar effects. The lesser key of Fire resistance. Ugh, what nonsense. Uh, no fun with fluids, volume, whatever library? I just picked up. <laughs> Drudenay's qualities are many and well documented. For an adventurer, it isn't wise to consume in the thick of battle, though recreational use is widely accepted among liberal circles. Knowledge significantly less widely spread, however, is that Drudenay is best consumed from within a flask, as the bottle process often brings out its finest features. Hmm. Hey. If you had to venture a guess, how do you think you would make tomato sauce? Uh... Demonology for a hammer and tomatoes? Correct. <laughs> Alright then. To be discovered in this library. Let's see. Then I have the Adventurer's Field Guide, Volume 3. Uh, some smiths haven't the faintest idea how to mold a fine metal shield. After I buy one, my first order of business is to find the nearest anvil and hammer uh, and hammer the kinks out of it. The shield, I mean, not the anvil. So you can improve a metal shield now. And in volume four. Any old kitchen knife can be carved into a deadly dagger after the right amount of time on my anvil. Superior dagger. Rats, vermin, library? plague, nuisance. They go by many names, though none One conveys one? the full extent of their Volume repulsiveness. Two? These vile Where's creatures the carry disease, eat through food stores, and leave their filthy droppings Demon wherever they please. Demon While it is possible to off these plague bearers Demon using steel or arrows, the beasts often prove too swift and sneaky to be destroyed by brute force. But a rat's gluttony, its unconditional hunger, may always be exploited. Cheese, delicious poisonous cheese placed near a rat's hideout will be taken by filthy teeth unquestioned. Should you lack a suitable poison, simply crush a fly agaric mushroom and work it into a piece of cheese to produce the most potent gift for your vermin friends. I don't think I have any fly agaric left, but I'm not sure why we're trying to make poison cheese. This comedy book starts off uh, beautifully. Much like making love, comedy requires equal parts passion and delivery. <laughs> I think this one's for you to read. Oh boy. <laughs> Cracking up a crowd, the definitive guide. Yes. Much like making love, comedy requires equal parts passion and delivery. Fever for the stage is not enough. No, no. The truly successful comedian will study the details of the craft through countless long, lonely nights in preparation for his rendezvous with the audience. Compiled within this volume are some of Rivalon's finest funnies, enough to make a granite statue grin. This is a long ass book. <laughs> During a dwarven funeral, the bearers of the casket accidentally bump into a wall and hear a faint moan. They open the casket and find out that the dwarven woman inside is actually alive. The entire funeral party rejoices and a joyful tear springs into her husband's eye. The dwarven lady lives for ten more years and then dies. There's another funeral for her. At the end of the service, the bearers carry out the casket. As they are walking out, the husband cries out, watch out for the wall. Oh, that was a joke. I'm sorry. I thought it was part of the story. Read that one to me again. The lesser key of <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't listening. I was stealing things. Alright, next next joke. An elf and an orc show up in the in Hall of Echoes at the same time. The orc says he froze to death, and the elf says he died of a heart attack. How did that all happen, says the orc. The elf replied, well, I came home and thought I had heard my and thought I heard my wife in bed with someone else. But when I searched the house, I couldn't find anybody. I was so stricken with remorse for wrongly accusing my wife of infidelity, I had a heart attack and died on the spot. Jeez, says the orc. If you'd opened the ice box, we'd both be alive right now. Wow. Every ten years, the elven wood priests in the high monastery are allowed to break their vow of silence and speak two words. Ten years go by, and it's one priest's first chance. He thinks for a second before saying, food bad. Ten years later, he says, bed hard. It's, it's the big day, a decade later. He gives the head priest a long stare and says, I quit. I'm not, I'm not surprised, the elven high priest says. You've been complaining ever since you got here. 
<laughs> wow. Uh, she is so definitely a large orc. She's also very scantily clad. As was the other one, as they all probably are. Yeah. Oh, there's a desk here I can loot. Fifty-two gold. No, this isn't the grimoire I'm looking for. Is there no new book? Enjoy the fact that no one can library. see me just stealing everything. Um, I found a few more books for you, like He Who uh -huh. Smelt It, Volume One. The, key of the quality of a proper sword has quite declined in recent decades. Some blame a change in climate, while others change in. While others a change in the type and origin of iron reserves. I myself craft my own supplies from an iron bar and an anvil to ensure the maximum character of the weapon. So that didn't teach us anything. We must have read it already. Probably. Demonology for dumbbells. Ugh. I need something more advanced. I found the philosophy of death. No that also sounds like a U book. Oh, that's story. probably the thing for the guy in the graveyard. Oh for the tests. Yeah, Spirits good point. Shadow conceal me. The lesser key of Sadakandras. What nonsense. The Pseudomonarchia Daemonum. And the first edition too. Most promising. So about all those books you stole. Yeah? She just told me we can take them. Oh. <laughs> Demonology for dumbbells. Ugh. What is she saying? Oh wow, there is a lot of talking here. Is there yeah. no new book to be discovered in this library? I'm not gonna read all that. <laughs> can I can I get the cliff note version? Uh she was found in a basket in the water. Cecil took pity on her, raised her, taught her the words and letters of man. She became the librarian, which she does with great diligence and sense of duty. Um and she doesn't feel happy about that elf Eglinder. Does he not see that I am now the one who is to be wronged? She speaks why, very eloquently. Oh, why must he make me, of all gentle-minded and life-loving creatures, why must he make me the target of his imperishable hate? Whom have I ever harmed? I live for books, not brutality. So... Let us approach the situation with reason and ask ourselves, where do we go from here? Though, first let me say this. From my heart, I thank you for warning me. I You're thank welcome. You and I trust <laughs> you. So pray, let me pose the question. What do you advise we should do? Okay. Hmm. So we can go kill him. We can take her amulet and say we killed her, or we could just get him arrested. Yeah. I think if she's willing to part with the amulet, that would be good because that would resolve issues for him and he wouldn't be this man hellbent on vengeance any longer and she'd still be alive. But he wants it as proof of her death and she's not going to be dead. She's still going to be here and people are going to know she's here. But he doesn't know that and probably nobody talks to him because he's nuts balls how did he find out she was here to begin with no this isn't the grimoire because he was probably i don't know in this town or something when she was found i don't know i don't know i think either having him arrested or killing him is going to be the only way to finalize this because if we have him arrested he could still try to hire more assassins so i think ultimately like you said earlier the best way to end this would just to go kill him yeah i feel like though the the amulet would assuage him and he'd be like oh okay i can move on now and then maybe he'll leave because he's here because she's here right unless he had come oh, i can't view my log i mean that would be inappropriate right now um i'm looking for let me look at every quick very cool um so egglander Eggy Boy revealed to us that he wants us to kill Victoria, who was part of the orc tribe that murdered his family. He wants us to bring her amulet as proof of her death to add to his already impressive collection. I need something more advanced. 
Hmm. So he is only out for blood. Yeah, maybe we should just off him. Yeah. I'm up for offing him. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's um, change the subject. <laughs> no. What is this? Invisible scroll. Patty cake, patty cake, volume two. Nice. Wait. Can I? Where's that other woman that was walking around here? Can I sell to you? Hunter. Will you buy you things come to your me? Senses I can buy his backpack. Your mind. Are you ready to join forces? 